it doesn't really matter if you hold people away for a little bit because they are just going to be able to chase through your disengage. VTO picking the Zerath last here. A long range, lots of poke. Maybe will help. Has the flash. Razork might just be covering. You can see Daglas making a beeline for the bot lane as well. He's going to spot Razork as he comes across. Flash forward. They look for Hilly first blood. Jun stepping forward. Razork tanking. Jun's going to try and get out of this one as Kazi tries to turn it back around. Cleanses away. And now Daglas is here to join the party. He gets one. He gets two. Uh, one over to Kazi. One for first. And Daglas might be in a sticky situation. Humanoid's about to finish his recall. Razork catches out. Uh, Daglas catches out Razor, gets the knock up, and Humanoid finished his recall and didn't think he could. Ian could overstep. Do you go for objectives? All of these possibilities as the Pathmaker is used in the top lane. Oscar in and gets the all out as well as Razor goes in. Photon locked up, no mana on him, and he'll be shut out of the fight. First on it, but these grubs should be taken down fast enough that there shouldn't be a response. So it will be a cross map with uh, Fnatic picking up that kill. Goes into Oscar in back pocket and he had a very, very solid performance yesterday. Yeah, he did. Has yet to die. Has in yet to die. 2024 on the LEC stage. Well, <sighs> give it about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you've cursed it well. Perhaps um, to worry about anymore. Do you wonder whether or not after that one gank he will return focus down here? And I mean, he's on top of Daglas right now. Humanoid's here to respond to. Humanoid with the first move. Can look to push Daglas back. He flashes over the Emperor's Divide. And now Vito trying to put the damage in, but low on mana. And long cooldowns on the Zerath early on means he can't really do too much to help. Daglas shut down by Humanoid. Kazi trading with no engine down towards this bottom lane. Both the ultimates burnt from the, from the Fnatic bot lane. And the Sang still only level five. Bubbles. Bubbles. Always forget about Always bubbles. Always forget about bubbles, yeah. But I do like this lane assignment here from Fnatic as well, because it's just a, a min-max, right? You don't really lose any resources anywhere on this rotation out. As well, a, we're not even teeping into top. Foden does still have the flash. Emperor's Divide will lock them up, and the stun comes out, but it's not enough. Oscar winning. Tank 3, 14 minutes. Towers have plates. Yeah. Every time you take a plate, depending on how many people are around that plate falling, the tower gets tankier. Void grubs give you true damage, which means the tankiness doesn't matter. I will say, they changed the Mountain Dragon's <laughs> effects for a reason all those years ago. I think with the local gold added in, and then you have the Void Mites, and they gobble up these towers like these split. Oh. You can see Razzle going for the engage as well. BTO, long range. Exactly. And it just feels like Fnatic are pulling them around the map to a point where they're not really going to be able to find an engage even. Um, if this game is five minutes longer than it could be, do we win if we can try to scale up? As Kazi's caught out with no flash, and uh, yeah, Kazi dies. Tidal wave used on Noah, but he flashes away. BTO lands a bunch of the shots oh and it's God. All the while, we'll pick up this tower. So that's a nice bit of gold kind of clawed back still. Pull the trigger. And now it's Fnatic with the positional advantage. They can pick and choose who they go on as Vitality end of the river. See Oscar in just blocking their path in. The dragon over to two, two in draft, but then didn't happen. Is Noah's actually gone towards the on hit build, despite having the Azir, so has played the Rune King. Let's see with that purple effect, and that tower will fall in a moment. Fnatic get their fourth of the game. Abandoned by everyone, the minions will crash into each other. Gold wasted, but Humanoid doesn't oh. want to invest TP as Razzle goes forward. A four man knock up into the follow up. The hostile takeover is going to hit on three. Kazi trying to dash away. Humanoid dashing forward, and Vitality are just routed, but Kazi manages to escape. Hellasan falls first. BTO low as well. Kazi very low. But was the Dragon put themselves on soul point, but it will be Baron picked up for that. Quickly, you can do this. Humanoid can oh now TP God. across, right? And Daglas and Photon are low. It's down to 6,000, but. The rest oh, of Fnatic disaster, are on their way. A disaster for Vitality, perhaps, as Kazi was spotted as he walks into the bush and Humanoid slides forward. Still has the Emperor's Divide in the flash, but he doesn't need either <laughs> to work his way through the Lucian. Daglas now caught out. Humanoid is so damn big. 5-0-0 zero, zero now on the Azir. He has DPS up to the nines. And Fnatic, that blue goes to everyone. That Drake goes after that been very strong from them. First one now trying to push in the bot lane. Fnatic have a minute and a half. Yeah. Noah's dealt less damage than Kasante. We'll see if that ends up being the five Four and a half spells. Down. Anyway, Humanoid up here by himself pushing away. Chipping away that tower. Daglas is he caught out? It's a little bit. Chain of Corruption coming out. There's the root against the wall oh. as well. And Daglas might fall. Razzle the only one there to do damage though is Noah and Jun were forced away with the tidal wave. Humanoid now pushing in the top lane. The Baron empowered minion helping him out. And Kasi's caught again. I feel like I've said that a few times this game. Very difficult for him to play in this situation because of how much of the map Fnatic control. But Kazi 
A little bit overextended there, trying to defend his tier, uh, tier two in mid. Oscar Winning trading with Photon. Still yet to die, by the way, Oscar Winning. Went 7 0 8 yesterday, 1 0 2. Not as impressive as the scoreline, but still unkilled on the rift. And perhaps I've just cursed him as he half makers in, gets a stun onto Photon. Hitosang and Photon trying to do everything they can to work their way through this Cassante. I can see the riot among spams yeah. in my head. Can't kill Heartsteel, man. They were preying on the death of a rock star, but it just didn't happen. Oh, Noah. It's a little bit awkward. Dancing on a slight offset, but it will be fine. They'll match up in the end. Here are the Super Minions, four of them so far. Starting to hit the Nexus Towers alongside that Void Grub. Damage in the first tower will fall. And Fanatical can continue their undefeated streak. Here go 2-0. BTO locked up. Humanoid tries to chip away at him. Oscar in basically tanking the entire world now as he continues to step forward. Kazi falls back to the fountain. And the Nexus in the eyes of Fnatic, but, but before it, a couple more kills, perhaps. The Nexus falls, Fnatic now 2-0. Very dominant-looking game from Fnatic. The bottom lane kind of 